All right, friends. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Ravenbrook Plays Parasite Eve 2. So we're going to get our asses onto the shelter. And this is uncharted territory for me. So pretty excited about it. I did. Oh, yeah, that reminds me off camera. I had some helpful comments um, about some of those mystery items, the boxes or whatever. Um, so I learned that you can use triangle, I think, to examine unknown or unfamiliar objects in your inventory. So we're going to do that. Why not? Yeah, flares. Okay, they inflict darkness. Good to know. Nice. Yeah, like I, I may have said this on camera, I definitely said it in the comments. Um, my copy of Parasite Eve 2 did not come with a manual. I got the black label, but, you know, I don't know if they did a greatest hits, actually. I don't know, but I got the black label, which is pretty cool, but no manual. And you get what you get. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. All right, we're out of here. God, I hope we're ready. I don't know, man. I'm a little, uh... A little nervous that they showed a health meter for Madigan. Like, are we gonna have to do a driving portion where he drives and we shoot? Because... Not looking forward to that, if so. <gasps> what? Already? No way. Okay. Let me go get this, too. Wow, that's gonna... I did not... <laughs> Seems a little early, but whatever. I mean, there are a lot of assets and, like, cutscenes and stuff, so maybe that takes up a lot of space. I mean, I know it does, but who knows how much. Um, yeah, let me stop babbling like an idiot and go get the second disc. Okay. Took me by surprise there. This is such a cool cutscene. Look at that. This is what? The, the, the first one came out in 98? So this is 99, I think? Pretty fucking cool for 1999. Wow. Oh no. I didn't know they came in extra large. No, thank you. No good, they jumped the fence. Oh shit. Madigan? Damn. They'll be back. They're just testing us. Get ready, Aya. Oh, he's at 5 HP? The real fight's still ahead of us. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, 
Fuck. You're wounded. It's nothing serious. I mean, you're at 5% of your health. That seems pretty severe. Okay, he said good luck. Shit. Fucking fuck. Oh, no. Oh, are you serious? That's... <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. That's that's fucking stupid. Well, good thing I don't have to like take out disc 2, put in disc 1 and then swap them out again. I wonder if during playtesting they realized, hey, let's make sure there's some overlap on these discs. Okay, so I'm going to start in basically with pyro on all of them. I'm going to stay well away from the edge. We ain't playing around this time. 12.06 a.m. Why didn't we wait till daylight? I guess we did have that fucking behemoth that just came rampaging in, so I don't know. Maybe we thought the situation demanded a little more urgency. Maybe. Whoa. Oh, they can they can fall off too. Okay, that just seems unfair. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's not Fuck off. Okay, heal. have just one second to reload.
They're not that bright. At least, at least there's that. Neither am I, though. Okay, well, that works. Okay, let's, uh, let's use something a little more economical. Are we done? Oh god. <laughs> oh man. Well, this is gonna be a challenge for uh for me. Probably not for most of y'all, but for me, it's a challenge. Kyle, I hope he's alright. Yeah, yeah. He's fine. Worry about yourself, girl. No one else will. Okay. I fucking hate this game. The mining cart is blocking the path. Looks like the brakes are on. Yeah, pull the brake lever. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, let's, let's stop that. So I kind of want to go back to the truck and see if I have any more healing or MP. That pack of NMCs caught us on our way to the shelter. We made it this far. Then the truck stalled. Still a ways before the shelter. What to do? What to do indeed, Aya? Okay, looks like I'm kind of fucked.
It won't even budge. It's made of oak. It looks strong. It's not moving anywhere. Okay, so it looks like I'm coming back here. What's in the mining cart? Hmm, there's nothing in there. Great. That's helpful. Oh boy. The rails break off here. That's a pretty deep gorge. I might be able to... Oh, yeah, the, the board. Okay, let's go get that. I bet... There's going to be enemies. I wonder. It looks pretty heavy. Take the board. Okay. Yes. I love it. Even It even says step. It spans the gap. I can cross on this. Great. Fuck. Right off. Okay, nope. Okay. Okay. God damn you. EXP, not BP. Okay, that's fair. Oh, nice, a phone. Okay. Nothing of interest here. Iron cabinet. Uh, okay. Leave that alone for now. Ooh, yes, ammo supply.
A phone? Here? Looks old, I wonder if it works. Seems to be in working order. Yet maybe the blue flashing button is an indication that it works? I don't know. What's wrong? An NMC pack, are you sure? I see, thanks for the information. Okay, I'll send out an emergency bulletin to the other hunters. I feel like that's the equivalent of like thoughts and prayers <laughs> and good vibes. Until then, explore these mines. Try to save that PI if you can. Okay, yeah. Again, what about Aya? Okay, so I need to plug up them holes. Can and will do. Gate one. It won't open. It must be locked. Okay. This looks like the main power lever. Lower? The lever? Yeah. Let's do it. Nope. A plug is inserted here. It won't come out while the power is on. Well, that's probably good. I heard the faint sound of a motor outside the gate. Great! That was so fun. Madigan? No answer. Maybe he went a different way. Madigan, are you there? Madigan. Uh, I don't think that's Madigan. Eerie red light. I don't remember that being a distinguishing feature of Madigan. Fuck. I don't know, Aya. Could we maybe target the thing that makes sense? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that looks like dinner. Wait, this this is Kyle's. Oh, yes. Oh, and a jumper plug. Nice. Oh, no. Mm. 
Please go away. Oh, you, of course. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, narrowly survived that one. Kyle. He was sort of a jerk. But still, I kind of... Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of this one. Okay. I feel like that's better. Okay, well, that was some sharp shooting, Tex. Now, is that what we wanted? I don't know. I do know we should save. Thanks for the report. Inform me of any developments. How about you inform me of when reinforcements are fucking getting here?
Great. Oh no, this won't do. This won't do at all. Target the thing that makes sense, Aya. Hey, how about the fucking thing up in the air? How about we target that? Yeah, okay. Let's let's not. Let's not do this. Let's not do the smart thing. No. Why would we ever do that? Why 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 why? Jesus fucking Christ, Aya. Kinda looks like they're running away. Which they should be, I'm on a rampage. truck stalled. Well, do I, do I have anything? Falling rocks enter at own risk. Somebody doesn't want visitors. Well, I feel like there's got to be something else we do with those plugs. Right? Because... Or maybe, the, maybe this gate. Maybe this gate now. Oh, yep. This seems right. Get the fuck off of me. It won't even budge. Load shifts on slope. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's let's go back to the plugs and see what we can't get up to. Unless... I don't know, there might be more in that room where we fought the boss. Gasoline. One spark should ignite it. Okay. A motorcycle. Here? It's big. 1600cc or larger. Hey, a leather side holster with a bottle cap design. Wait, I'm sure I've seen this. Aha! The sword that big guy had would fit this perfectly. This has got to be his. I should look for clues. Ah, there's an extra switch next to the ignition. Looks like a remote control switch. It says gate two. Press it. Nothing happened. Uh, what? Huh? The gate lamp is out. The short must have triggered an automatic safety shutdown. That's odd. The wiring map is different than before. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Okay. Yes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. What is this place? Oh, shit. A lift panel. Oh, this seems like a very bad idea. All right, that's locked. Narrows it down a bit. This must be an elevator, it stopped.
Oh, nope. Oh, damn. So if you don't... Oh, you can run away. Looks like a refrigerator. It's overflowing with food. The stench. Something that in there is pretty far gone. Pile of medical books. Ooh. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Looks like you can reach the upper shelves with this. Nothing out there worth the trouble. This looks like a freezer. The power's off. There are empty Petri dishes inside. Okay. Let's actually... Okay, well, there are a couple doors here, it looks like. What's this one? Won't open. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. I like it. Ooh. Ooh, sleeping quarters. Wonder what we're gonna find here. A network terminal. It doesn't appear to be on. Pile of network cables. Okay. Oh, that was a weird transition there. Bookshelf. Molecular biology, cellular, physiology, molecular organic chemistry. There's a whole lineup of specialized medical texts. 
The research here shares a lot with the mist labs in Wilmington. Well, that's not suspicious. Bunk bed, top Kaminsky, bottom Yoshida. All these photos, these must be family pictures. There's There are a lot of st star schlep pinups as well. The bookshelf is full of networking manuals and star schlep fan books. Looks like a network administrator that takes his family and his hobbies very seriously. Okay. Wow, these sheets are so messy. Even the wrinkles have wrinkles. Lots of bodybuilder pinups on the wall by the bed. What's underneath, I wonder? Should have guessed. Weights and an ab machine. The bed and bookshelf are covered with computer books and magazines. Not every programmer is concerned with physical well-being. There's a bunk bed here, top, pool, bottom, bowman. There's a poster of a bearded man on the wall by his bed. I don't get these people. What were they trying to emulate? Human internal evolution. Wait, this book. My Japanese friend K. Maeda. Ooh, nice reference to the first game. He was the, uh, the scientist that we worked with. Uh, wrote this for his dissertation. His new theory of mitochondria, it was shot down by the academics. He sent me a copy once, but it never arrived. It's pretty high level science. No time to read it now. There's a few other papers here. Mostly organic chemistry, it seems. Okay, Bowman, this bed. Huh, what is that? There's some black stains covering the sheets. Ew. Oh my, it's caked with flakes of skin and frazzled body hair. Doesn't look like a burn injury, I wonder. Am I imagining things, or does this bed smell like rotten fish? Okay. Please no fish monsters. There's a bunk bed here. Okay. Floyd. This bed is made of... Uh, made to perfection. Nothing on the bookshelf either. Maybe this bed was left open for a new recruit. Chandra. There's a shirt on the bed, some boots underneath, the bookshelf's full, lots of technical manuals for wiring and air conditioning. Chandra must have been the local inspection and fix-it man. Okay. Let's come back here for a sec. Okay, that locker's locked. This locker was Bowman's. These were his last words. There is nothing I need here. I leave now for a higher place. Farewell to life's insatiable yearning for joy, to death's love of lies. Wow. To fools who would be ge geniuses and fools who would be fools. Cheats ruled by base instincts, the sick ruled by baseless sensation. Your lives have no value, your deaths no meaning. Your existence is meaningless wanderings um, in mute darkness. I will rise, I will become myself, my inner voice will shape my being. Farewell, darkness. Farewell, Bowman. He was a good friend. I will miss him. His possessions are in this locker. Though with no handle, I doubt even Bowman could open it now. Whoever wrote this has some serious issues. Who wrote this? Who's Bowman? I wonder what he was trying to say. What in the world happened here? Uh... No. I mean, definitely appeals to the nihilist in me. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we have another shower scene? No? Well, okay then. Wait. No? Dang, well hopefully we can get Bowman's locker opened.
This is from our, um, our, our flashbacks. Interesting. So we, we've been here before, but when and why? Oh, we can go here. Do we want to? There's a control panel. The panel controls room energy and contacts the control room. The monitor is displaying something. System stop, lock released, lab safety level acceptable, cleared for entry. Looks like I can go through. Do I want to? Contact control after securing protective suit. I should be okay. I don't think the sterilization system is operative. I don't have time to waste worrying in any case. Oh, great. Intercom for contacting the control room. Okay. Entering level three toxic microorganism hot zone. Well, great. Ooh, a phone. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, we are gonna stop it here and pick up next time. This is getting pretty creepy, pretty interesting. So looking forward to it. But as always, leave a like if you like, a dislike if you don't. Comment, subscribe, you just gotta do. But I'm hopping off and we will be back with more Parasite Eve 2 in the next one. Peace.